A few days ago, I saw a post in which on the left was a screenshot from Sam Bahadur and the text read man written by a woman and on the right was a screenshot of Ranbir Kapoor from Animal and the text read man written by a man. And my first thought upon seeing that post was, what's the point of this? One is a real life person who actually existed at one point of time and other is a work of fiction. One man is not written at all. The other one is. So what's the point of this? What's the point of making this comparison? This post took me back to 2019 when Kabir Singh came out and similar posts were being made in which men from Piku and Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara were being compared to Kabir Singh with the same format, men written by a woman, man written by a man. At first, it might seem like something very profound and groundbreaking and deeply analytical. But if you truly analyze it, you would see that this is just a baseless argument targeted specifically at Sandeep Reddy Banga. Because if you genuinely want to talk about men written by men, watch any of the Imtiaz Ali films. Let's talk about Rocky Randhava who was written by two men alongside a woman and also directed by a man. So targeting a director with only two films under his belt and saying that this is how men write men is a pointless and baseless argument. Maybe that's his style. Maybe that's the sort of characters he wants to tell the stories of. Maybe that's the sort of stories he feels strongly about. And I do not think that Kabir Singh is a bad character. And if you want more details on that or want to know why I think the way I think, check out this video. And about Animal, I genuinely feel that Sandeep Reddy Wanga intentionally wrote something that could trigger people. I'll come to that later. Some directors specialize in action films. Some directors make gangster films all the time. So is it fair for us to think that people who make action films go on to do gravity defying stunts in their everyday lives or the directors who make gangster films go on to shoot random people on a Tuesday morning? I don't think so. And it's very harmful for the art of filmmaking as well as the discussion surrounding films when people watch films with their own political view then go on to bash a film because it did not align with their political ideology or overhype a film because the director of that film praised their favorite political leader on Twitter. It kills any scope of civil and logical discussion that we can have about the film or analyze that film at all. Even in the review I made of Animal, I did not criticize the film or what impact it might have in the real world and on youth. I criticized it strictly for the story of that film, which I feel was intentionally derailed just so people could get triggered by it. If people get offended by a film because of the way the story of that film unfolds in an organic manner, it's on people. But when the director of the film makes a random turn in the story which does not feel organic at all and only exists so that people can have something to get triggered by, I feel like it's the director's ego. The reason I said it so slowly was because a lot of people missed this point in my animal review. So here it is slowly trying to make you understand what my point was and is. Let's talk about a film like Haseen Dil Ruba which I genuinely enjoyed. Do you want to know how I was able to enjoy that film as a man? Because I did not watch that film with a victim mindset. With the mindset that Vikran Masi's character is portrayed as a cuck in this film or that nice men are portrayed as weak and worth cheating on. I enjoyed that film because it was a story of a bunch of messed up people and a messed up relationship and it was genuinely engaging. My main frustration with a film like Darlings was why is Alia Bhatt's character constantly wanting to go back to her asshole husband. Again, my problem with that film was strictly in the context of the story and I was not triggered by how men were portrayed in that film. Because that film, just like Haseen Dilruba, was also a film about messed up people and messed up toxic relationships. Yet I was able to enjoy them because I, while watching any film, I do not feel like the creators are trying to attack me specifically. I genuinely love films enough to be able to distinguish when something is trying to attack me or my ideology 
एंड वेन समथिंग इज अ जेन्यून स्टोरी तापसी पन्नू मेकिंग थप्पड़ देन गोइंग ऑन टू मेक अ फिल्म लाइक हसीन दिलरुबा डज नॉट बॉदर मी और डज नॉट मेक हर अ हिपोक्रेट दोज आर टू डिफरेंट फिल्म द फॉर्मर ऑफ विच इज वन ऑफ माई ऑल टाइम फेवरेट्स इन माई ओपिनियन वॉट मेक्स तापसी पन्नू अ हिपोक्रेट इज वेन शी गोज ऑन टू बैश अ फिल्म लाइक अर्जुन रेड्डी विच केम आउट द सेम ईयर एज जुड़वा टू केम आउट इन विच देर वॉज अ सीन ऑफ हर कैरेक्टर बेसिकली बींग मोलेस्टेड बाई वरुण धवन कैरेक्टर एंड दैट सीन वॉज प्लेड फॉर लव इन दैट फिल्म दैट समथिंग जेनुअनली प्रॉब्लमैटिक इफ द फिल्म मेकर फाइंड्स मोलेस्टेशन फनी सो वेन यू आर अ पार्ट ऑफ समथिंग दैट प्रॉब्लमैटिक then you go on to criticize arjun reddy for being problematic i just don't see the value in your criticism films are films shahid kapoor can play aditya in jab we met ratan singh in padmavat and also kabir singh ranbir kapoor can play jordan in rockstar ved in tamasha and also ranvijay in animal tapsi pannu can play rani in haseen dilruba and also amu in thappad alia bhat can play safina in gali boy and also rani chatterjee in rocky or rani ki prem kahani films are a medium of storytelling and animal is an over the top film it's not a biopic like sam bahadur kabir singh is just a story it's not a social commentary like thappad you are allowed to like any of these films and you are allowed to not like any of these films based on what's shown in them not because of your own political agenda or ideology If you did not like Thappar because you did not agree with the actions of that character in that film it's okay it's your opinion but when you go on to criticize the trailer of Thappar by saying that why aren't films being made about men's issues it just shows how politically driven you are people who make posts like these men written by men and men written by women aren't doing anything profound or groundbreaking or meaningful all they are doing is acting on their own biases against sandeep reddy vanga but i don't think sandeep reddy vanga has ever said that ranvijay from animal is the greatest character in this world and everyone should aim to be like him anurag kashyap has never said to be like sardar khan and martin scorsese has never asked us to be like jordan belfort some films exist to start conversations some films exist to depict real life heroes and tragedies some films exist to entertain and some films exist to be over the top fun theater experiences and you as an audience are allowed to feel any way about any of those films like i said in one of my previous videos when people over hype animal they dismiss the existence of a film like agnipath similarly when people target one director whose style they do not like they dismiss the existence of countless other directors who have given us male and female characters that we would love to have in real life for every ranvijay there is a ved for every rani there is an amu for every arjun there is a vedha for every safina there is a rani chatterjee we live in a time when there is a place of every type of person's story men have written great women women have written great men so it's time we stop targeting one specific director and just end this pointless baseless argument